Hello guys. So in this video, we will see what is model builder and how to use it and what is the cases that we might need to use it. So model builder, first of all, if when you open our catalog, you have an icon here on the top. This is the model builder. When you open it in the first time, you see that is it's totally empty. There's nothing in it. And model builder is used to combine toolboxes together to create a model out of these toolboxes. So let's say, for example, you have a case where you need to do certain things uh, one after another. And instead of going and open each toolbox separately, you can create a model builder and uh, it will work all together to you. So let's give a scenario that we have in our California map, we have the Orange County cities and we have the freeway, we have the five and the 405 freeway uh, crossing the cities of Orange County. Let's say, for example, Orange County decided that they want to do construction for the 5 and the 405 freeway. And they want to let each city know uh, that there is construction going on into these freeways and they need to create like a clear zone buffer where workers have a clear zone and it's uh, a safe area for them to work on this construction. So let's see the requirements we have. The requirements we have is for each Orange County city, create a clear work zone, quarter of a mile buffer for each major freeway. So to break down these requirements, we will do these four steps. The first step is not necessary, but it's just to show you how can you convert a feature class to another feature class and how you can create a file geodatabase using the model builder. So we are going to copy the Orange County cities and the freeways from our California dataset to a new geodatabase that we will create. And then the next step is to create a buffer for the freeways with quarter of a mile. The third step is to clip from Orange County cities using this buffer and save the results as a shapefile, uh, maybe because you want to share the shapefile with each city separately. So now let's go to our R catalog. And in order to open your uh, model builder, you need to click here. And the first step is to create a file geodatabase. And to get this tool, you need to go to Data Management Tools, Workspace, and then you will find Create File Geodatabase. You will click on it, drag it, and drop it right here. And for any new tool you add to the model builder, the color will be white, as you see right now. But once we add the inputs and it's ready to run, the color will change. So let's double click on this one and say I want my file geodatabase location to be in the model builder folder we have and I will name it clear zones gdb I'll say OK and as you see here the color changed any blue color is an input the yellow is the tool itself the green is the output so the next thing we have is to copy Orange County cities and freeways to this new file g database so we need to find the tool that copy a feature class to a feature class and instead of you going and try to go through all the tools to find the right tool you can just open the search window from on the top here you can click on this icon and in the search window you can search for feature class and you will see all the tools that have feature class word in it. Here we have the tool called feature class to feature class. And it shows you that it exists in the conversion toolbox. But also you can click it from here and drag it and drop it right here. So this is the first one we will create it for the Orange County cities. So we will define the input from our California data set. And here the output location will be in our new file j database. The output feature class will call it OC underscore series. And click OK. It's still white because we didn't add the output location. And the output location will be our J database we created right here. In order to connect this one to this one, you need to go here and choose the connect icon. And the connect icon will help you use any output as an input for another tool. So after we chose the connect icon, we click here and we drag and drop this arrow to the tool. And we select I want this output to be my output location for this tool right here. Now we will do the same for the freeways. We will drag and drop the tool here. 
we will say I want to convert the freeways and I will call it freeways okay and same thing I will use this geodatabase as an input for this tool right here so when you work on the model builder you need to understand what is uh, your output type what's the input type and you can add any uh, output as an input for another tool so let's make it look nicer so you can select and move it however you want so now we finished our first step our second step is to create a buffer of a quarter of a mile on the freeways so here we will come here and search for buffer and as you see here we have the buffer tool exist in the analysis toolbox and we have a buffer exist in the coverage toolbox basically both are the same but they are exist in two toolboxes and if you use this one or this one they are exactly the same so let's use this one and drag it and drop it right here and we will create the buffer for the freeways so we are gonna use connect and connect this output as an input here input features and still white so let's select double click on it and see why here we need to define the value for the buffer so as we said it's gonna be a quarter mile so here we will choose miles and add 0 0.25 say ok now our buffer tool is ready to run and the shape file will be created in this location right here but I want to change the location to be saved in the model builder folder so I'll come here I'll choose the model builder folder I'll type the name and say save and I'll click OK now let's see our next step is to clip from Orange County cities using the buffer so we need to do clip on Orange County cities using the buffer we just created so let's go back to here try to find the clip and again you see that clip exists in different places I will use this one drag and drop and here I will use my freeway buffer shapefile as an input into the clip and it will be the clip features and I will define my input features as Orange County Cities the one that we copied to our file geodatabase and here is our output location we are going to save it in the model builder folder by the name clear zones and this will be our last and final results to use save and click OK so now we have our model builder ready to run so what this model builder will do it will create a new file geodatabase it will copy two feature classes from California database to our new file geodatabase this feature classes is the freeways and Orange County cities and then we will use the freeway to create a buffer and we will use this buffer to do a clip on Orange County cities so now let's do the magic and click the play button and run now here you get a notification saying which tool is running and all the information about where is the output location the input location and how long it takes to run this tool if you have a big tool or if you have a lot of data it will take more time but right now it doesn't it's not gonna take a lot of time to do that and here on the top it shows you how many steps so we have one more step left so now it's completed let's close this one so let's minimize this and here in our model builder we have the geodatabase created for us inside of it the freeways feature class and the orange county cities and here we have uh, the buffer that created the shapefile and we have here our last and final shapefile results that we have right here so save results as a shapefile this is the shapefile we have as results so let's open ArcMap and view this data so here let's add the buffer one first so right click here and say add data go to the model builder folder and add the buffer we created first so here's the buffer but the buffer have been created for all the freeways right but our requirements is to find this buffer for the cities only so we will add our clip results which is the clear zones and we will double click on it let's hide the other one so now we have a polygon for each city that 
represent a buffer around the freeway that passes the city. So for example, the city of Costa Mesa right now knows where is the clear zone that they are responsible for when the county start working on the construction for this freeway. So let's right click here and go to properties and go to Symbology and give a unique color for each city so we can differentiate between them. So here right now we have, let's hide this one. So here right now we have a color for each city and when you click on one, you will see that this is Irvine city and this is the place where Irvine is responsible for and this is the area where Santa Ana is responsible for. So now Orange County knows what is the area for each city and they can filter and send each city the polygon that shows the buffer for this freeway so each city can take responsibility of maintaining this clear zone when they uh, start working on construction on the freeway. So this is how we created our model builder to create these results. We were able to run a lot of toolboxes together uh, one after another. So here let's see the options we have here on the top. Here we have save, you can save this model builder. So let's save it to our folder location. I'll call it model builder. And as you see here, it said that model builder only can be saved inside a toolbox. So we have a toolbox we created in the previous video. Let's save our model builder into this toolbox. And now we have it saved. Here you can print it. You can print uh, this view in, in front of you right now. Here you can cut and paste any tool you have. Uh, here you can delete any selected one. Here you can add data or another toolbox from here. Here you use these tools to navigate your view right here by pan or zoom or zoom out. Here is a select one where we use to select or double click on each icon right here. And here is the connector we used to connect the output to the input for another tool. Here to validate and when you click on validation it will tell you if, if everything is okay. If there is any problem, it will uh, let you know that there's a problem with this tool and you need to fix it. And here is the run where you run your tool and you can get your output. In the menus here, we have the same things. Uh, run, run entire model, save, save as, print. And also you have the option to export to Python script. Here, edit, here, insert. You can add uh, like another tool or anything you want. Here, insert, here, view. Uh, here, auto layout will... Uh, make your layout looks nicer so you can use auto layout to uh, like reconstruct your layout if you have a really large uh, model builder you can click auto layout to make it look nicer and also you can move your icons anywhere you want here in the window you see the overview uh, and you can use this one in case you have a really large uh, model builder here the help to open the help for the model builder and that's it for the model builder. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know how to create a model builder using different toolboxes and how can you uh, make a really complex and large operation by creating a model builder to run it one time and then you get your job done. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.